If you clicked on this video, chances are you know what just happened. My AI did in fact get attacked. By the time I caught it, my bill was over $137. The only reason it's low is because I was catching it right literally as it started. But others haven't been so lucky. Others in my community have lost thousands of dollars. One even lost $18,000. So if you're building or selling AI voice agents, you need to be aware that this attack could happen to you. In this video, I'll break down exactly how these attacks occurred and more importantly, simple steps you can take to protect yourself from these attacks. And for context, I have a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, so I'm looking at this as both a developer and someone trained to spot vulnerabilities. I'm excited for this video, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So here's exactly what went down. From what I can tell, these attacks seem to be targeting outbound agents, specifically the kind that trigger after someone fills out a form on your website. This is exactly what happened to me and many other people in this space. Here's my website. And the attacker basically would set up these bots to populate this form with fake data and information. Here you can see, I just have lines and lines of what the attacker was putting in here, random names, random company emails and whatnot. But one thing is common, the numbers they're using. These are UK based numbers that are rotating here. And what's interesting is these numbers are not connected to another agent. They're connected to what we call a clean recording. It's just a recording that sounds human enough to keep the agent engaged and talking. So your bill keeps going up, the meter skyrockets, and you have a terrible day. For me, this is what they sounded like. Here, take a listen. Hey, Sprite. I'm Monica from Oceanside. Hi, I have a question. Hey, Sprite. Sure thing. I what's can't your... hear you. I have a down problem. I will fix it. Wait a minute. And that's one of the many I was getting. Here's another one I got. Um, it was kind of weird. This one sounds more human. Thank you. I aim to make our conversation feel natural. What interests you most about Adaflow? Uh, do you speak in Arabic? I kept getting this one for some reason, and I have no idea why. Um, many other people in my community as well were getting that one. So that's the entire system. You might be wondering, how are the attackers doing this? Like, what's their infrastructure behind it? Most likely, from what I can tell, the way this works is they're probably using a simple automation. I doubt they're smart enough to code any complex malware, all offense intended attacker. If you're watching this, <laughs> most likely they're just using a basic Python script or Selenium, and it's enough basically to spam your forms. From there, they're bulk buying VOIP numbers from places like Twitter, or maybe other some shady resellers online for probably anything around a dollar each from what I've seen. And then they're connecting it to a authentic recording hoster. So something like a free PBX online, YouTube clips, text to speech voices, they're all loaded into these free VOIP servers and then played over and over again on repeat. How much does it cost them? Probably anywhere from 25 to hundred bucks max. What does it cost you? Uh, thousands overnight. So you can see just the power of these attacks. Now, for me, what happened was I was literally in the middle of a meeting talking about this very attack. I'm not joking. And then the hour afterwards, I happened to be showing a demo of my voice agent to a friend. And I normally only check my bill like once a week on retail AI for this demo agent. But I said, you know, let me, I want to check this recording. And I look and my concurrency on retail AI is maxed out. For those of you who don't know, that's just the number of simultaneous calls that are happening. It was 20 out of 20 calls happening at the same time. That's not normal. And I'm like, okay. But I happened to catch it right as this call attack was beginning. And so I was able to go quickly into my phone numbers here and just attach the agent from my inbound, uh, my outbound number. I just attached it right there all together. Um, the problem is with this kind of thing, if you don't catch it in time, it can literally cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, for me, it was going up $10 per minute. If I hadn't caught it by the end of the hour, it would have been $600. Or even the next morning, $5,000 just overnight. This is not just me. What's really sad is many people in my community have been recently hit. Kevin was the first person I saw to report about this. He said about 12 days ago, so two weekends ago, he said my AI was attacked and he lost $450. Since then, he's added some preventative measures. Gerline, the guy who is an amazing person, he runs our tech support calls for our community. He got attacked and he lost $600 from this flow. And you can see his recordings are actually very similar to mine as well. And then another person in the comment section who, who knows Gerlene 
got charged $18,000. He lost $18,000 for something just like this. So you could, you can see just the, the magnitude of this. And then most recently, my friend Ibrahim was attacked. He lost over $300. And the scariest thing about his situation is he had all the CAPTCHAs in place. I didn't. Um, those robot detectors where you have to press, you know, on a website, I am a human. He had spam filters, but it was the same thing. The UK numbers, these bots got around it. So I'm actually not surprised. We can't expect that cybersecurity principles of yesterday are going to prevent AI attacks of today. It's just the way that this technology is moving. And that's why you have to come up with creative approaches to prevent these kinds of attacks. And I think I have a few that I'm going to share later with you. I know many of you are going to ask me in the comment section, like, why is this happening, Mark? And honestly, I don't know. From what I can tell, there seems to be no financial profit gain for them to just destroy many people's AI voice bill. Uh, maybe they're pushing anti-AI sentiment. Maybe they are angry about AI replacing jobs, but I think more likely it's just trolling or harassment, people who are just trying to attention seek and cause problems. Either way, it's crazy expensive. And if you have clients that are using your AI voice software, you're currently servicing, or maybe you have it for yourself, you need to seriously take this into account. Um, maybe even take down your AI voice agent right now as you're watching this video, if you have it on a form online, because this could happen to you. Don't wait until you wake up to see a bill of $5,000 or more. Some preventative measures that I'm currently implementing are three very important ones. First is filtering for US numbers only. This is important because as of recently, retail has set it up so their numbers are internationally enabled. That means their numbers you buy can call any country. And so I'm now only filtering for US numbers on my agent. All of these attacks stemmed from international numbers. Doesn't mean though that this can't happen with US based numbers. A second more important way to prevent this is adding a confirmation text. The way you can do this is setting up either an edit in or make just a text that once people fill out the form and click call me, your agent will text and say, Hey, this is Mark's agent. Just confirming. Say yes. If you still want to receive this call that way, it prevents the bot from being able to confirm the text and the mass spam that we're seeing. Um, I don't think there's going to be any way for a bot to um, get around that one, but I could be wrong. And then the last is implement cooldown period. Unfortunately, archaic methods of old, kind of like I said, CAPTCHAs, honeypots, I even have experimented with this a lot in cybersecurity. They're insufficient for today. A honeypot might slow an attacker down, like going through mud a little bit, but it's not going to stop them from getting over the wall anymore. And that's why we have to implement more advanced systems. These are only three that I came up with that I'm adding. So implementing cooldown periods, making sure that it waits 60 seconds between each person that it calls, or maybe it only calls two per people per minute and nothing more. That will allow you to, to be better protected. The final call to you is don't wait for the bill take this really seriously. As much as it pains me to say, it's kind of exciting to see cybersecurity playing such a crucial role in AI. And attackers, if you're watching this video, if you attack me again, you're going to have a nasty surprise because I'm implementing something that will most definitely identify who you are. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, I hope to see you in the next one. It was a shorter one, but an interesting one that I felt like I needed to share with you all today. Also, if you got any value from this video at all, consider joining my community below. I will see you all in the next video. Tech Tomlin, where AI finds its voice. Come for the tech, stay for the transformation.